Toby Pshaw for Idid Sin, directly from Cannes. We've got the pleasure of talking to the worldwide creative director of WPP, John O'Keefe. John, um, 2009, pretty hairy year for the industry. Um, Cannes 2010, if you reflect on the submission, does it show in the work? I think 2010 shows uh, some recovery. Um, I think it hopefully next year will get even better. I think, as you say, last year was very difficult. Um, it's interesting to observe that countries of whom it is said, rightly or wrongly, they didn't have a recession, such as Australia uh, or Brazil. Um, we haven't tallied up all the results in Cannes, but in recent shows, those sorts of markets have been producing consistently high-quality creative ideas. Um, and it just shows the corollary still remains that uh, in a very deep recession, budgets are cut, clients get more conservative. Um, and, you know, from a creative, pers creative director's perspective, the work suffers. So, you know, that's why I guess Australia and Brazil have um, been leading the way. As an executive creative director of WPP, you've got a broad overview of its output, uh, digital as well as traditional, um, by market. Can you pinpoint any specific creative hot pockets around the world? I don't know about hot pockets. I mean, I, I'm very taken with um, ideas specifically. So it might be that you know a particular market has this brilliant idea. So YNR South Africa, for example, has got uh, what I consider to be one of the best ideas I've seen for a long time, um, which is for UNICEF. And it's a, a child soldier, obviously anti-child soldier campaign. And it literally, they've got little cellophane plastic bags of the kind we all remember as children, ostensibly full of little green toy soldiers. And then when you tip them out, they're actually children. And it's an incredibly powerful way of bringing that message um, home to people. And it gets sent, they get sent as direct mail packs to senior um, political figures at the United Nations, etc. Uh, and I think that's a fantastic and obviously very worthwhile cause. So I'm looking out for that one. I haven't really heard anything. I'm hoping that does well because I think it deserves to. Mm -hmm. John, as CAN 2010 is starting to wind down, people have got short memories. They look forward to next year's submissions. What would be your top three pieces of advice to creatives and creative directors around the globe? Well, I think it's always worth, you know, there'll be some people licking their wounds as they go home thinking they were deserving of more than they got perhaps um, there is as they say it's quite painful advice there is always next year and next year there'll be the year after so you know we've got to kind of keep going and you know look at what's won and try and understand the reasons why it's won um, and then just look to better it there is no other way mm. for aspiring youngsters coming into the industry um, You've got a few years on your back now. What's your, what's your counsel to them? Um, well, I worry about that. And uh, I, th I think when I came into the industry, and possibly even when you did, and you're seriously younger than I am, um, you know, it was very much uh, you know, a fun industry to be in. And obviously, you could make your name and you could do well and all those things. I hope that we haven't become so procurement um, driven and cost cutting and all the rest of it, that it becomes, um, you know, a difficult industry for, for, for the youngsters to join because, you know, we're nothing without the new blood and I hope that people coming out of colleges still look at our industry and, you know, want to join it. John, thank you very much. Much appreciated.